young men right now. We have uh, two mid-year signees that are already here. They're already in class, lifting, doing everything they're supposed to be doing. Out of the 20 young men that we've signed, 16 of them are from the state of Louisiana. So 16 out of 20 are from right around here. We had 10 offensive signees. In the offensive signees, we signed five offensive linemen, two wide receivers, two running backs, and one athlete that I term an athlete category. The emphasis in offensive recruiting for this year was that we felt like we needed to get solid up front. And you guys understand, if you understand football lingo, we got to get better up front. And right now, when we came in here, that was a position that our numbers were down tremendously. And I really do respect and like the kids that we have on the team right now. I have no problem. They're developing and progressing very well. But in that group, we didn't have enough players. Uh, we also didn't have tremendous competition for position. We were lacking in those areas. I'd like to share a real brief uh, story. It's not going to take long. When I was a young coach, uh, got my first coordinator job. I can remember this vivid. I was 29 years old, and I was uh, promoted to be offensive coordinator at Oregon State University, a Pac-10 school. Well, I'd just come off of BYU success and this and that, but I never forget they, I got the promotion, and I went home probably to Sandy, and I rubbed my hands together like that, and I said, man, this is great. Just give me my quarterback and receivers, and I'm going to set the Pac-10 on fire. Well, it didn't take me long to realize, after I coached a few games, where the games really played. The games played up front. So what I'm talking to you about is that we believe we needed to solidify that area offensively because if you control the line of scrimmage, you usually control the score. So that's what we're doing, and we're going to give Coach Uperes a, a whole lot because our goal is to have about 14 to 16 offensive linemen on our team all the time. Okay? Now, the next thing to note is that we wanted to recruit more playmakers. And most of you understand what a playmaker is, but I'll give you a simple definition. It's a person that can take a routine play and make it something special. Okay? We had a few guys that could do that this year on the offensive side of the ball, that could do something on their own or make something tremendous happen. We don't have enough of them. So we went out and found some young men that can do their magic, okay? And that's what we're trying to do. And many of them you might have watched if you followed high school football around in the area. You found them. And again, I'm super excited about that. You may note that three of the young men that we signed uh, on offense all played quarterback quite a bit this year. That does not mean they're playing quarterback here, you understand? But they're athletic. Sometimes, you know, in high school football, sometimes the coaches are forced to put maybe their better athlete at the quarterback position because that's what they, they have. But I tell you what, when they progress on to the collegiate level, there's another position possibly would suit them better, and that's what we have in mind for some of these guys, and they know it up front, so they're excited. The next thing to note about the defense, what we've signed is 10 defensive uh, signees this year. Five linebackers, two defensive linemen, two safeties, and one cornerback or an athlete. And you'll find out this cornerback played quarterback last year in high school. But he's going to play cornerback here at, at Nichols. Now, the thing you might remember from the season, we had to do it in midstream, but we're really committed to it now is that we changed to a three-man front package on defense. That allows us to be faster, quicker on defense, and be able to adjust better to various offensive schemes and formations. So we're going to be, if you want to simulate, I would say if you watch the Super Bowl on uh, Sunday night, the defense we're going to be most like is the Green Bay Packers defense, mainly, because they base out of a 3-4 defense. Okay. Now, let's talk about philosophy real quick, on, and then we're going to watch some video. I just said we signed 20 young men. Okay, that's our signing class thus far. I want you to know that we already have things in the works right now as a staff. We have a few more moves we're going to make, okay, that are all unfolding, but we hadn't, I just didn't feel good sometimes about the research we had done. Uh, there's some few more things. They could come from Division I transfers. They could come slightly maybe from a junior college, or it could be a late signee that uh, from the high school ranks, because many of you, if you follow recruiting right now, some coaches, unfortunately, at the big schools, and I was one of them, but I didn't do this, oversigned. Do you understand? 
and they screw young men up. Well, guess what? We're going to be there to catch a couple of them. You understand? So what I did was I have a certain amount of scholarship funds left, okay? And we're going to be very thorough, but I'm super pleased about these 20. Now, another thing you may not know about the rules. The rules in scholarships, and I'm really big in this, is that scholarships are one year at a time renewable, usually in the month of May of each year. We have some guys on this team right now that I like like anything. And guess what? Some of them are playing for basically nothing right now. You follow me? And some of them are on partial scholarships. So me and the coaching staff have already went through this thoroughly. I'm going to reward some of the kids that are here. You understand? And I'm going to move their scholarship money up because I feel like that's the right thing to do. And they appreciate it. I know they all do. But so what I'm saying is that we have some scholarship funds available still and we're going to use them but so you're going to have to kind of read the paper as it goes with any new signees but we will have some new additions to add to this class okay all right now the exciting time's coming and what we're going to do now is what we've done and the coaches have done a tremendous job helping me with this is we're going to get coach mario we're going to dim this first part here and uh i'm going to tell you a couple little highlights on these guys if you follow your page that you have, it's in the same order, you understand, as the page. So we tried to get this thing right. So what we're going to do right now is talk about the offensive signees, and we're going to get right into the offensive line. And I have a coach here with a laser pointer. If he gets a little off, I'll let you know. But he's so supposed the to be still going to the bus there, honey. He's he's going <laughs> yeah, but we're going to point at the uh, player if he's not circled. Okay, first one's Caleb Klein. He's an a, a offensive lineman, right tackle, comes out of Norman. You can go ahead and run it, uh, Mario. Let me tell you some things about him. Um, he's going to select it to the Oil Bowl, which is Oklahoma Place, Texas. You understand All-Stars in the summer? He is the number one ranked wrestler in the state of Oklahoma. Many of you know right now, heavyweight. He's 28-0 right now with 21 pins. Wow. And right now... Many of you that have played offensive line, if you've got an offensive lineman that understands wrestling techniques, he's going to be a tremendous football player. Great kid, too. Great young man. Comes from Norman, Oklahoma. He's, uh, you can have it on your sheets, but he's six foot three, two ninety. Next is Kalen Cola. Kalen comes uh, from West St. John, Batchery. And again, some notes about uh, Kalen. Uh, again, he's first team All State. He played in that River Bayou All Star game, and that's where I really he caught my eye too. As I was standing there on the side at the time, I wanted to know a whole lot more about him. Great young man, really motivated. Will do a super job for us. I'm super excited about having him join us. Okay, the next young man's Tyler Knowles. Don't let the haircut fool you. you know? But he will get after you. He's got a little bit of, we always say as coaches, a little dirt bag in him. He's six foot six, two 275, comes from uh, Katy, Texas. Uh, his team did tremendous. He was all district. He's a great academic student, too. And uh, his team did a great job this year, 10 and 2. But again, he's, uh, he's everything we're looking for. He's super excited. You can see right there, we get some on the ground, got to rough them up a little bit. <laughs> okay, next, offensive lineman Garrison Trice. Garrison comes from Fort Worth, Texas. You can read all that. We're super excited. He was captain. One thing to note about uh, Garrison is that he did not give up one sack his senior year. Not one sack. Again, we're super excited. And some of these young men have family that live within the state of Louisiana. Now, wide receivers, we're trying to get some playmakers. We got Josh Hanbury. Many of you heard the Hanbury name before. His brother's on the team. Jordan did a tremendous job. Uh, the thing about old Josh, he's a, he's a track runner. Uh, he was a New Orleans Metro track runner of the year, sprinter. He graduated also top <laughs> of his class. He's a member of the National Honor Society. And again, we're, he will give us more speed 
on our team. He's got tremendous speed, and again, he's also a returner. <coughs> Daryl Watson. Daryl comes from Holy Cross there in New Orleans. Daryl's first team All-State receiver. He also was National Honor Society. Um, so again, very good player for us. Okay, when we get to the running backs, we have a young man many of you would know from uh, Josh Johnson from Thibodeau High School right here in town. Josh, tremendous young man. And uh, again, he did tremendous things for Thibodeau High, but also played in the, uh, the River Bayou uh, All-Star Game. And he was uh, even named the most valuable player for the Bayou team. Again, tremendous power and strength. Super excited. He really wants to be a colonel. And I, I'm super excited to have him in our program. That's what I'm talking about when you make something happen and it's really not quite there. I love that when he does that stuff and then you go, they go, great call, coach. <laughs> <laughs> The next young man, Darnell Rochelle. Did I say it right, guys? Rochelle. Anyway, Darnell is from Riverside Academy. He was first team All-State. He'll line up a lot at quarterback. The thing to note about him, he was the uh, Offensive Player of the Year and uh, voted 1A to 3A, and he also garnered All-Metro MVP. I mean, he did all kinds of things. And he's going to play running back, and then I'll, I'll slip him in at different positions just to get his athletic ability. He can throw it also, of course, but again, he, he's uh, got about every award you can get. Okay, an athlete category. This is a category I always recruit where uh, the young men, I'm going to, we'll put them where we need them. And they're real receptive to this. Terry Lucas, Terry played at St. Augustine, tremendous quarterback for him, an athlete. He's six foot uh, 200, so he's put together real well. Strider, you can see the smoothness there. And again, tremendous young man. 